I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. This is your tip of the week and that's how to store your fat quarters, get them coordinated by color. And I'm also going to go over what do you do with those smaller pieces of scrap fabric. So I have some great ideas for that. These are little fabric storage cubes. I designed them to fit your fat quarters. Now I have a lot of fat quarters and you could make for your reds, put all red in one and make it a red cube. Same thing for your greens, your yellows, your blues, you can do one for purple, brown, your light colored ones. These are really easy to make and they kind of dress up your sewing area just a little bit. You can have a shelf above your sewing uh, machine and stack these up there and it just makes it look nice because I know so many of you tell me that your sewing area looks kind of dull. So it's little things like this that you can do to help make it look better. So if you want to make these little cubes to organize all your fat quarters, there will be a link list below your YouTube screen. So just scroll down uh, below your screen and you'll see fat quarter cube tutorial. All right, let me put these aside and I'm gonna give you another tip. Every time I finish a sewing project, I always have some little odd pieces of scrap fabric left over. And many of them are large enough to be used in something else, but it's kind of hard to store those funny shaped scraps that you have. So what I like to do is I like to, at the end of the project, I'll take whatever scraps I have left over and cut them either into squares or strips, two and a half inch wide strips that you can use in jelly roll projects. Now this one here is a pack of five and a half inch squares of Christmas fabric. And right now I've been working on a lot of Christmas projects. So I've got some scraps already piled up and I'm gonna show you how I go about doing it. Here are leftover jelly roll strips. Now these are shorter pieces from jelly rolls. And then over here are longer pieces that I've had left over. So when you have your jelly roll, you can either take them and roll it like this and put a rubber band around it, store it any way you like, but I do like the little bags. I can write on them exactly what they are and store them away. So I often take, take my smaller packages of squares and put them in those little plastic shoe boxes that you can buy at Walmart and the dollar store, really cheap. So let me show you how I cut my fabric up. So as you can see, they're all shaped differently than each other. So I take the largest area of each piece and stack it over each other. And out of these, I can get three five and a half inch squares the way I've got them stacked. So some of these other pieces, if they're a little larger and you want to cut two and a half inch squares, I've done that at times. But so here's how I do it. So I've got it laid on there. And I'm gonna take my ruler, I love these little square rulers, and this is my five and a half inch line here and here. So I'm going to push it up so I make sure I've got fabric extending around all of the edges. Take my rotary cutter right here, because this is the quickest way to do it, and I'm gonna cut one side, and then I'm gonna cut this side. Right? Now these pieces are too small, but I have viewers who save them for their bird's nests that they have outside their property. All right, so now I'm just going to take this side over here and bring it over here. So just turn your fabric like that. Now I'm going to take my five and a half inch lines on my ruler and put it on the two previously cut edges. And then take, always take your time lining it up. Okay, and now you're gonna cut this side. Now I know I'm left-handed, but just reverse everything you see. And then this, I, I probably could get a two and a half inch square out of that. So if you wanna take the time to do that, do so. I do use a lot of two and a half inch squares, especially for like little pot holders. And there you go. And there you have your five and a half inch squares. And so then I can just take my bag 
of already Christmas fabric, this is all Christmas fabric, and add it all together. And pretty soon you'll have enough to make a big Christmas scrap quilt. Now let me show you how I cut my strips. Now here are some longer pieces, and I see future jelly roll projects out of this that you can either add to a jelly roll maybe you bought, but you need just a few more. Remember, go through those scrap fabrics. And this is a long piece. This is a 42 inch wide piece, but there's a big chunk cut out here and here. So I've left it folded because I'll be able to use some of this to add to jelly rolls. I've got another piece here that's wide, but not quite as long. But remember, you can put them in those shorter stacks of jelly roll strips to use in other projects. Remember, you can use jelly roll strips in just about anything. Pot holders, uh, also table runners, everything. So don't, don't think it's not enough. It doesn't have to be real, real long. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my ruler. So I've stacked all my fabric. I've taken this one edge here and I'm pulling it past one of the lines on my cutting mat, all right? Because I wanna cut this edge straight. That's why I'm doing it. So just pull it past a little bit and then place your ruler on a line and check it down here as well as up here. So okay, now I'm gonna cut this edge straight. And now jelly roll strips are two and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna move my ruler, don't move your fabric, move your ruler over two and a half inches. And I've got my two and a half inch line on my ruler on top of this line right here. So I've got two inches at the top, two, excuse me, two and a half inches at the top and two and a half inches at the bottom. And now I'm gonna cut. Again, don't move your ruler. Lift, I mean move your ruler, but don't move your fabric. Okay, and now I'm gonna move it over two and a half inches again. Take your time lining up your ruler, and then I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna do it again. I think I have about two more good cuts than I can get out of this fabric. Lining it up. Again, remember, take your time. I hate wasting fabric. I wanna make sure that I don't make mistakes, but I do. Now, don't move your fabric. Ru move the ruler again. Like I said, I have enough for one more set of two and a half inch wide strips, and then cut. And this, you might want to save it for something else that's a little bit, of you, uh, little bit of use in it. These, like I said, if you have birds and you want to save them for your birds, people that live in your yard, that's fine too. So I'm going to take these other strips here that are good, and I'm going to just put them in my stacks of the shorter strips. And then this one here is pretty long. This one not quite long enough, but I'm gonna put it in my long jelly roll strips just in case I can still get some use out of it. Same with this one. I'm gonna keep it in my long stash of jelly roll strips. And then just go ahead and add it to your pile. You can roll it in or fold it up and put it in little Ziploc bags. Well, I hope this tip of the week was helpful to you because I get questions from viewers all the time on how to cut fabric. And just about all my fabric cutting is pretty much in this way. So try to use these little uh, techniques for cutting your fabric. Now, if you're interested in looking at other tutorials, tips of the week tutorials specifically, I have, I think like 28 of them. So, and there's all kinds of good information in there. So check below your YouTube screen for more uh, videos on tips of the week. Also, if you're interested in beginner sewing projects, maybe you'd like to do a jelly roll project or a little scrappy quilt, check below your YouTube screen for links to beginners sewing projects. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram 
and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.